Blessings family, how's everybody doing? I pray all is well with you and your family. Welcome back. I'm just stopping by for a quick moment to encourage you all out there. You know that I do count it a blessing and an honor to be able to come before you today. But first of all, I want you to know that I do appreciate each and every one of you who were praying for me because it was much needed. And today I stand before you today feeling so much better. But excuse that light right there that's shining on my shoulder, that's coming from the window. But once again, I just stopped by real quickly to encourage you all out there to keep holding on, no matter what the enemy is trying to do. But people of God, pay attention to what the Lord is doing. We must pay attention. Sometimes we begin to look over the things that God is doing in our life because of our focus. Sometimes we lose our focus, paying attention to what the enemy is doing. I found myself in that area as well. When people are coming against me, that tends to mess with my focus. And the Lord was doing so much for me that I almost missed it, family. I almost missed it. The Lord was promoting me, but I wanted to go back to a place that was so familiar to me. Why? Because the enemy had came in and he bombarded my focus. I was so focused on where I was comfortable at, but the Lord was doing little bitty things in my life. Once again, I almost missed it because of my focus. And I begin to lay there in bed one day like, how did I get here? How did I get here? And the Holy Spirit, you know, the Holy Spirit brings all things to our remembrance. Remember what you prayed for. I said, oh my God. I said, God was moving and I was about to give up the blessing, the things that I have been praying for because God had did it so fast. But the enemy came in real quickly and he tried to get me to take down. I mean, because I wanted to go back to that place that was so familiar to me. And we know when God begins to elevate us, there's always a higher demon, a higher ranking demon on that level. And I just didn't want to deal with it. I wanted to go back to that place where I was so familiar with everything. I was comfortable. I was very comfortable there. And if I tell you the Lord sent three people, two of them I didn't even know, my boss began to say, just give it a month. Just give it a month. And if you don't like it, I will put you back where you were. And as I began to run into this other saint, she said, what if I told you that the Lord said, give that a week? And I said, I will receive it. Later on that day, a young man said, give it a week. And I said, that's three times, three confirmations right there. But I almost threw in the towel on something that I had prayed for. So people of God, watch, pay attention to the little bitty things that God is doing in your life. I'm telling you, the enemy, he is there trying to get our focus. He's trying to get us to the point where, you know, where we just give up. We just feel like some things are not for us. But I began to rebuke that devil, and I heard the lady say that she is unmovable. And I knew that was for me. I had to be unmovable. I had to be steadfast. I had to be unmovable to what the enemy is trying to do. So I encourage you today to pay attention to the little bitty things that God is doing in your life. I'm telling you, when you get to focus in on so many other things, you know, how the enemy is coming in trying to attack you in certain areas, you will miss it. I almost missed it, family. And if I tell you, it was such a great move, but I wanted to go back once again to that place where I was so familiar with, where I was comfortable. And we know that a lot of times when change comes, it makes us feel uncomfortable. It makes us feel uncomfortable. So I encourage you today, people of God, pay attention to the little bitty things that God is doing in your life. Amen. Amen. I just stopped by real quickly to share that with you all. Pay attention, family. God is moving. He's answering prayers. I hope this is encouraging to you. You know that I love you with the love of Christ, and I will be back at that appointed time. And until then, you all stay blessed. Bye-bye.